Well, today I'm in a Somerset village which has a real hidden history of absolutely fantastic architectural delights and wonders that you will not find anywhere else in a Somerset village to the amount that this has. It's truly incredible. The magnificent architectural lights were designed by one person and that one person was Edwin Landseer Lutchins, the same man that designed the Cenotaph in London. He was friendly with the Horner family here and in this village we've got in the region of eight things that he put his hand into that are still here now and are fantastic to see and each one of them has something different about them and it's just nice to come out and look at these places and get a feeling for it. He was a man of his time and he lived between 1869 and 1944 so a lot of changes in his life anywhere from flying to vehicles, different sorts of steam railways and diesel engines and all sorts came in in his time here plus all the wars and everything else and he didn't live in the village they were just friends in there and he although he did all these wonderful things all around the world he did a lot in this village which is truly incredible so i think we'll have a walk on and um, look at these things and see what we think although he was in asquis government he ended up being chairman of the midland bank and you can see by this that legends has put a good solid grave here it's a molded look at the size of it absolutely amazing truly impressive in every way excuse the crackle on the ground it's just sticks and things and uh absolutely you can see lutchin's hand in that design straight away a phenomenal thing and lutchin's was also friendly uh, with all, as well as all the people here, Winston Churchill and many other notable people as well. Incredible. Can't go over the design of that. It's just magnificent. Must weigh good two and a half tons. And as I enter the, the church, the first thing that I want to see is this magnificent memorial here to Edward, son of John Horner and Francis's wife. And it is truly incredible with a Munnings bronze on the top, who is a equestrian artist who only did about three bronzes in his total career. And the interesting thing about the base of this is it was designed by Lutchins and it looks the same shape as the Cenotaph in London. But it doesn't end there. And just coming round the side, there's the old service cross from when he died he was obviously buried in france set into the side of the monument too and the cenotaph in london was originally built with um basically out of plasterboard and some people believe that lutchins may have used this as a trial but i don't believe it really but there we are but it's a truly magnificent thing a wonderful thing to see in this Somerset village and it is a true iconic structure and when you look to the right hand side you'll notice there's a chapel here and it in fact was designed by Lutchins and it was in this chapel here but was moved because it was too uh, confined basically so that is why it's here and the window in here is truly amazing it's very difficult to see on a a video and so it would have originally been in here 
And you can see Lutchin's hand, really, in the way that he was thinking to do this. And there's an Asquith, one of the Asquith field crosses there on the wall, too. So we've got one in the monument and an Asquith field cross on the wall. So truly amazing. And down this end of the church, which we call the obviously the West Doorway here, uh, looking up here, we have this magnificent one here, which was a culmination between Lutchins and Gill. And Lutchins designed the wreath that you see at the back there, the back, the laurel leaf wreath. Confused. And there was a sword here, but that's taken away for safekeeping because these days people will steal anything, as you know. And this is the Gill script here on the wall. And if you wonder about Gill script, what's all that about? Well, if you have a look on your computer, you will find Gill script on your computer. And that's an amazing thing. But there's loads of amazing bits in here, but we're concerned just with Lutchins today. And just scanning around the church on the other side here, we've got a memorial to Laura Littleton, who died in childbirth. And um, it's all very arts and crafts. That's the main thing with it. But a beautiful church, St. Andrew's, and St. or St. Andrew, I should say. And you can see up at the ceiling there, a wonderful place to be looking at these Lutchins marvels. And there's so much more to see here as well. Well, I'm now heading out on the western side of the village um, to some more Lutchins architecture. You wouldn't believe it. Absolutely incredible that all this exists. And just as we're walking down here, over to the right here, Complete with recycling bins. You've got the gates to Mel's Manor, which have the Talbot dog on the top, which is a medieval hunting dog. But these are another Lutchins design here. Absolutely incredible. And just to one side of this, not far at all, we have this structure coming up, which is the bus shelter. So, another thing that he actually designed. And you can see the... way that it's constructed. And it's really a substantial thing. Plenty of seating inside there. Don't think we get so many people on a bus these days. And so you've got all the benches going all the way round. Bit of graffiti that somebody's put on there, typical. And looking up inside, more graffiti, but you can see the roof up there. So you can imagine waiting for a bus here, sat in here truly amazing. When we come up to the War Memorial, which has got the Georgian Dragon on the top, Portland Stone, it's made of, Another one of Lutchin's finest. We've got the seating around the sides here. There. An inscription by the Poet Laureate on here. 
which is quite incredible. It says, we died in a strange land, facing the dark cloud of war, and this stone is raised to us in the home of our delight. Incredible. So it's just a, and when you stand right underneath it and look up, it's towering above you. And a, a funny story about Mel's is that Somerset County Council actually put signs up with stick-on letters on, and Mel's suddenly became smell, or smells, and then they put it back again. So it just goes to show how people can be really funny with things. And this triangular memorial here was built to the memorial of Mark Horner and is another Lutchins monument which was built in memory of Mark Horner. And it's truly fantastic. Just stepping inside, don't worry about the van noise behind me. Looking up in there, look at that for a roof. English oak all the way up through there. Down to here, looking out towards the river there and the inscription along here so i've had a fantastic time i'm sat here at the war memorial designed by lutchins at the moment looking at what this this legacy that this wonderful man left behind in a sleepy somerset village and i really enjoyed it it's made a nice change from my usual sort of Hill Forts videos and um, the next time I think I'll go on a history explore somewhere so I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching and until the next time goodbye <laughs>